Hello again, my friends. Chef Delmer Gill here for yet another Chef Trek adventure. And with me, we are blessed to have my good buddy, Dexter Goodrebay. Did I say that correctly? No, Goodrebay. Goodrebay. <laughs> uh, this show is called Flavors of the Islands. And Dexter, you, you're from an island, aren't you? Yes, I'm from the, the Philippines. I thought yes. you were from that little island in the school kill. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, so what are you going to be showing us today, Dexter? Uh, today I'm going to make a uh, chicken uh, afritada, which is uh, very common in the Philippines. Um, it, uh, it's a stew, chicken stew, uh, with tomatoes. It's tomato-based stew. We got that from the, um, the Spaniards, yes. It's a Spanish recipe almost, with a twig of Filipino. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are your ingredients you have here, brother? Uh, of course, we got chicken, um, we got garlic, we got uh, peas, uh, green and red bell peppers, uh, chopped onions, and uh, just a hint of um, chicken bouillon. Okay. You want to turn our burner on? Now, does that need to be high? Uh, yes. Our first step is to uh, sear the chicken. Okay. Now, oftentimes on our Chef Trek adventures, we have a magic hand. And that magic hand is going to reach in this refrigerator and hand me some chicken that is chicken boned chicken for this recipe I like to use uh, thank you magic pan bone chicken because uh, the bones in the chicken actually adds more flavor to the mm -hmm. chicken and um, you can also have the skin in it also but you could also use wh whatever part of the chicken you'd like I mean if to make it healthier but for more flavor and more intense flavor I like to use the skin and the bones also Marvelous. Right. So I see you've got a little oil in there now. Yes. You want no. me to move this out of the way for the time being? Yes. And you can talk about this this dredging that you're about to do. Oftentimes when I dredge, I dredge in flour, but Dexter is about to dredge in cornstarch. Now what's the difference with that? Um Cornstarch actually is more common in the Philippines are than flour, I guess. Uh, it gives it uh, a crisper Okay. Texture. All right. Continue, sir. Sure. No, just prejudice and flour like so. Now, oh. what we're doing is Chef Dexter is showing how this is done. Because actually, folks, it's already been done. And uh, this recipe has been submitted to me already. And it will eventually be on our website. As you can go to our website which is www.cheftrek.net and see some of the things we've been doing. And our shows are also on our website. Now, I like while Dexter's doing this, I'd like to make announcements. We have yet another supporter of the Chef Trek Adventure Series, and that supporter is the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia, who have... Uh, done a wonderful article on me and my show and that will be on my website and we have a new sponsor we have a sponsor of the Rockland Bakery of Pennsylvania, in New Jersey who when we have different bread items of which we do have a bread item today to go with this meal once again we have a new supporter Federal Reserve Bank and we have a new sponsor Rockland now, of course, our pans here, those of you who follow the Chef Trek Adventure know that we have our national sponsor of Healthcraft Products of Tampa, Florida, and that's uh, healthcraft.net, and they've been providing their marvelous induction wear, cookware. So, uh, where are we at? We're about to do our little... Yes, uh, I think the, the pan's hot enough, Okay. so we just shake off a little of the cord size off. Okay. Marvelous. And I'm going to start searing this. Now, this menu that we're doing, uh, this chicken stew, for a Filipino chicken stew that Desha is doing, and I will be representing the uh, Caribbean island with uh, my version of a jerk chicken, which is using boneless skinless chicken breast, a standard or traditional Puerto Rican red beans and rice and pork and we're doing a vegetable of sauteed uh, of no I'm sorry of steamed cabbage and onions which is another traditional 
steamed onions, carrots, and uh, cabbage. Thank you. This is another traditional uh, Caribbean vegetable. Now, how long are we gonna uh, gonna do this? We're just gonna sear that off. Yeah, just burn it off. Yeah, okay. on all sides. Now we talked about the searing on shows when we're searing off meats, and uh, you know, Dexter, I've always told our, our view and the audience that when we sear, we sear at a high temperature. Yes. And we just sear the sides of, for instance, the chicken that he's doing here, and that, as we know, helps to seal in the juices. Correct. Correct. Very good. Then we're just showing how this is done, and then after you do your searing, you have your vegetables. Then you would also saute off your vegetables. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to let this brown up a bit, and whilst we're doing that. I'm going to do a little entertainment as we do yet another song. What we, what song would you like me to do? Um, whatever you like. Well, I don't know that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Someone suggest a song to me that I know. Okay. Then that <laughs> means I'll have the autumn leaves. Just by my window, <laughs> the autumn leaves that red and gold. I see your kiss with some ah, your lips. Thank you. We're hearing one of our tools, who's also our magic hand. But on the chef trick adventures, when I first did our first show, which aired uh, some time ago, I was I was doing the singing chef. The cooking occasion. Doing a show, I'll sing. But on occasion, while I'm home here cooking, I'll do a show. And speaking, I forgot to mention that this is our cooking and home segment. Uh, young Dexter here is also, but sometime in the future, we'll be doing the cooking and home segment in his home. And that's what we'll do. We'll come to your home, spotlight your home, spotlight me, and we'll do uh, cooking in your own home. It's not always here. Sometimes we've done cooking at home at my dear, dear friend Mia Bird. So cooking at home can be a not cooking at home at your home also. So how are we doing here? Well, it's getting a little brown on one side. Yeah, just flip it over. Okay. So now after you've browned that, you would uh, remove this chicken, or would you just do your vegetables and add your veg and let it finish up together? I'd say I add uh, the garlic, then the onions, all the vegetables with it too. Okay, you want to add your other veg now? Yeah, I think we're, yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Very good. First thing, we add the garlic. Okay. Give that a little brownie. Okay. It's so about, uh, folks, this just smells so good. And one of our here, one of our cult heroes, we'll talk about George Clinton. He talked about smellerism. Technology has not brought us smellerism yet, but I'm hopeful that eventually it will. But this just smells so good. Now, what spices are we putting in this? Just salt and pepper? Yes, just salt and pepper. Okay. There's uh, different variations to this dish. Um, often we uh, even put fish sauce in it. Uh, that's the, the hint of Filipino. <laughs> okay. Now, there's a reason you didn't do fish sauce. What is that? Because you're allergic to fish, correct? Oh, what a guy. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Now, your peas are frozen, correct? Yes. So I would say that we would do our garlic, our onion, mm -hmm. and our peppers and do your peas last. Yes. And the other ingredients is also potatoes. When would you add the potatoes? Um, you add them about now. Okay. Yeah. okay. Would you like me to do that? Sure. May yes. I use that? Good okay. thing. Thank you for hearing me. Now, what liquid is going in here? I see you have some... Uh, um, you can use chicken stock, but... Uh, I today, we can, can really use Today, we can use this water. You can spool it on spine. Okay. Do we deserve any water to go to the Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, here we are. So now, there. we have our chicken. We have our garlic, we've added our potatoes. And most potatoes are just, what, quarter? Yeah, it's far, uh, they're uh, small potatoes. They big, about an inch. 
And now, what proposal is that? Um, you could use any proposal, but uh, this particular one is just, uh, I believe, I use uh, gold fingers. I was thinking that they look like small u turn but basically, any potato they want to use. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next, after that, you will what, add your onions, your peppers, and um, then your peas last, and I see you have tomatoes over here. Yes. And after this, uh, and with the tomatoes, I like to use diced tomatoes, but uh, most people like to use um, crush, I mean crush or puree, but I like the little bits of um, diced tomatoes in. This is canned tomatoes. Mm. Very good, very good, very good. And season a little bit of a... Now we have toaster salt. salt and we have some black pepper here. Black pepper. Yep. Right. Give it a little stir. Alrighty. So now once you've incorporated the rest of your vegetables, your stock, this will be covered and simmered for about how long? I'd say um, about 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes? Yes. Okay. So there's no oven at all. This is all stewed yes. and all done on on the stove top. It's about uh, add about maybe a small pepper. Okay. It could be um, you know, green or red, but I decided to use both. Just give now, it a little color. Would you like perhaps for me to hold this while you use this spoon and break everything in? Oh, sure. I'm just trying to be <laughs> helpful. And that's what it's about, friends. Being helpful. Um, we talk about all the time on the Chef Trek Adventure what I call my four F's. That's faith, family, friends, and food. Those three F's, faith, family, and friends, brought me from a long, long way to a place I refuse to go back again. But renewing our faith, counting on our friends, and what's the other F? Someone tell me. Faith, family, friends. Family and friends, yes, of the three. So to renew one's faith and get closer to your family, get blessed because of your friends, and it's all about food. We like to bring more fun back into the kitchen. And actually, Dexter and I are blessed to be able to work at the same place together, and we have a lot of fun. Actually, this is the man when I came to this job that trained me. And, I mean, we do a good job at the place where we're at, which is the Federal Reserve Bank. But we have a lot of fun. F can also be foolish because we have a lot of foolishness amongst us. But it's about being comfortable with yourself, being comfortable with people, and doing what you need to do. Now, uh, we look like we're ready to do what? Yes, I just turned on the... Uh the fire a little down and we could add a little water and we just okay. cover it and let it simmer. Now would this do uh, this yes. little here? That'll be fine. About this, all of this? Yes, about all of that is fine. Yes. Yep. <coughs> and also the cornstarch helps it thicken a little bit too. Yes, I was thinking that because uh, oftentimes cornstarch is used as a thickening agent. Many people use flour but Dexter's using cornstarch. So now we would cover this yes. uh -huh. and let this go for like you said about 15 or 20 mm -hmm. minutes. And um, after serve, serving, uh, I mean before serving, you add the peas and stir it up a bit. Okay, before and serving. Yes. Okay, so we're going to cover this. Mm -hmm. So we're going to recap. We have chicken. Yes. What's the name of this dish again? Uh, chicken affritata. Okay, so we have chicken, and you use basically chicken wings primarily? Or uh, chicken I wings use, and legs? Uh, about a half a chicken. That's about a okay. half. Okay, yeah. so, all right. Bone and so chicken. we have our chicken, and then we have our onions. Mm hmm. Don't forget the garlic. Garlic, garlic, first. garlic onions, brown, yep. uh, red pepper, yes. green pepper, mm -hmm. the peas, which go in last, mm -hmm. and the and tomatoes. And tomato sauce. And the tomatoes. And, and just salt and pepper, nothing else. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. And, oh yeah, the bouillon. And the bouillon. Okay. Brother Dexter, thank you. Oh, thank this you. is going to be marvelous, folks. This is going to be marvelous. The rest of our meal, when we come back... We will be showing how my version of the jerk chicken was done, and our uh, we're going to talk about briefly our red beans, rice, and pork, which is a traditional Puerto Rican recipe, and uh, we're going to set things up. My friends, it's always a blessing. We'll be right back. Hi, friends. We're back. Chef Delmer Gill here as we continue with our show called 
flavors of the islands. Chef Dexter was doing a very nice Filipino chicken stew, and we're finishing things off. Uh, we're doing my version of a jerk chicken, and we're using boneless, skinless chicken breast, whereas Dexter used bone in. And uh, also for flavor and for color, we're going to uh, do some onion, red, hey, red and green pepper. But oddly enough, of the same vegetables Dexter used in his chicken stew. And we're just going to show how this is done. We're just cutting this down into strips. And tossing it off to the side. And the same thing with our peppers. Just in the strips. And when you see this, you'll see what this is going to do. This is just like a little extra flavor and a little extra garnish and a little extra fun. That's another F, friends, fun. We have to start getting back to having fun in the kitchen. It was brought to my mind just recently about fast food and people's opinion on it. I have nothing against fast food, but we need to get away from it. We need to get back in the kitchen with the family, with the friends, and by all means with the children. Because unfortunately many of us live on fast food. Not healthy at all. And you heard it from me. Now, here are our vegetables. And that's red pepper, green pepper, and onion. And I mentioned our boneless, skinless chicken breast. And this is about a four ounce breast. And what we're going to do is we're going to slice these in half. And we have a couple of seasonings. And we're going to do this with both uh, Montreal chicken, mon <coughs> chicken seasoning. Let's move this out of the way. Let's, we're going to brush our griddle here with a little bit of oil. I'm using the blended oil. And we can move this out of the way. And we're going to take this breast and we are going to slice it carefully in half. And we'll line that up here. We're going to take another and we're going to slice it in half. Here we go. And we'll take another and uh, we're going to use the jerk seasoning and for those of us that may not want something as hot as the jerk seasoning we'll just use the chicken, the standard chicken seasoning. Now, we have brushed our uh, grill with oil and we're going to just lightly brush our chicken on both sides and we're going to add our seasonings. And this is my portion of the flavors of the islands as we're doing some standard Caribbean things. All these ingredients for both of these dishes, mine and Dexter's, are readily available. But because of the Caribbean, we'll go. This is our Montreal seasoning. And we're going to do about half of this with the Montreal and the other half with the jerk. We'll do a flip. Would you be my soulmate? Would you be my soulmate? Try to rescue me. Just a little with my one of my favorite artists, John Lucien. And I do believe John is from Trinidad, Tobago. I could be mistaken, but I do believe that's where he's from. Now, once again, we are doing that process that Dexter has talked to us about 
of searing. And we're going to just quickly rid ourselves of this. And as we stated, we're searing this off on a high heat. This time we're doing it on the grill. And we're going to let this grill give or take about two, three minutes per side. Let's take a look, see, and see what he's looking like. You know, as we see, that's not enough. This is out on the end. But we're going to just get some nice grill marks on this. Um, our other ingredients will just be salt and pepper, which we'll add to our uh, carrots, not carrots, to our onions and peppers. Now, the other thing that we've done is our traditional Puerto Rican red beans and rice and ham. And guess what? Onions, red and green peppers. I had a very nice uh, roasted pork portion that I used. Or you can use ham, you can use whatever pork, or you can eliminate the pork if you like. Uh, chicken stock from the bouillon, similar to what Dexter had. And uh, just a can of small red beans, pinto beans if you like, or kidney beans. But any red bean will do. Uh, we are using on that rice, a jasmine rice, because this is what Dexter was going to use for his portions. Jasmine rice for his Filipino stew, but since we were doing the rice, we, that is, and that's a new, that's just a little twist on that to use jasmine as opposed to a yellow rice or a white rice. Now, as we see, this is cooking up very nicely, and like I said, what happens with this, we're putting it right back on our plate. But this will actually go on a sheet pan, go into the oven, about a 350 degree oven, for about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes, maybe even 12 minutes, until your chicken is done. But we are just showing how this is done. Now for the fun part. As we remove our griddle. And we'll place it here out of the way. Yay! And we'll get our other pan up. We'll crank up our heat. And we will uh, incorporate the rest of our ingredients. But we'll be right back. Closing out this segment of the yet another Chef Trek adventure, we're uh, doing our carrots. I want to keep saying carrots. There are no carrots in here, though. Do you see any carrots? No. Uh, onions, red and green peppers. And this is going with our jerk chicken. And we're just going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. And I didn't, I didn't get a chance to mention it. But one of the wonderful things about our sponsorship of HealthCraft is I'm doing this with no oil at all because of their cookware. But we're just going to show how that was done. And we're going to remove this because it's time for Brother Dexter to do the final part of his stew, which smells oh so wonderful. Brother Dexter, hello again. <laughs> Let's recap on what we've done on your stew. Well, we uh, dredged the chicken first in cornstarch, then we seared it for uh, until it's brown. Then we've browned our garlic and added our onions and our peppers and covered it with tomato, mm -hmm. uh, diced canned tomatoes, mm -hmm. and that simmered. Okay. All right. Now, what's our last ingredient we're putting in? Oh, uh, peas. Peas. So what we do, just give a little stir yeah, there. Give a little stir. And then we will cover it. And, and let's taste it too. Why and, not? Uh, sure. Seems good. Wait a minute. Taste it. 
take a tasting spoon, sure. my friend. And, it just and now the only seasoning you added was salt and pepper, correct? Yes, and oh, uh, bouillon. And the, bou the chicken bouillon. You could use, like I said, uh, chicken broth also. Okay. If you wish. Mm. I think it's perfect. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of thought it was when he got that second spoonful. <laughs> now we're going to assemble his dish and the other items. And I'd like to thank you folks for allowing us to once again to come into your home. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful garlic rosemary bread from our new sponsor, Rockland Bakery, a Pensalkin. Here's our jerk chicken. We have our traditional Puerto Rican red beans, rice, and ham. Here is our... Uh, Vegetable of both a little bit of onion, cabbage, and carrots. Here's our jerk, jerk chicken uh, with our vegetables. And here's our wonderful Filipino stew. My friends, it's always a pleasure. Till next we come to your home. My name's Chef Delmer Gill. I'd like to thank my friend, Brother Dexter. Garibay. Garibay. Marvelous. And till next we meet, I bid you peace. And blessings. See you next time. Boom, a boom, boom. He shared track on the fast track. He shared track on the fast track. He's shaking and baking and mixing and fixing. Trish is meal. Trish is meal. He shared track on the fast track. He shared track on the fast track. His food is so good. Mmm, good. His food is so good. Mmm. His food is so good, mmm good Chef Track, Chef Track, Chef Track, Chef Track His food is so good Chef Track, Chef Track Boom a boom boom He Chef Track on the fast track He Chef Track on the fast track He shaking and baking and mixing and fixing Trish is meal, Trish is meal He Chef Track on the fast track he chef track on the fast track his food is so good mmm good his food is so good mmm good his food is so good mmm good chef track chef track chef track chef track his food is so good chef track boom a boom boom he chef track on the fast track he chef track on the fast track, he's shaking and baking and mixing and fixing. Trish is meal, Trish is meal. He chef track on the fast track, he chef track on the fast track. His food is so good, mmm good. His food is so good, mmm good. His food is so good, mmm good. Chef track, chef track, chef track, chef track. His food is so good. Boom a boom boom He chef track on the fast track He chef track on the fast track He shaking and baking and mixing and fixing Trish is meal, Trish is meal He chef track on the fast track He chef track on the fast track His food is so good, mmm good His food is so good, mmm good His food is so good, mmm good Chef track, chef track, chef track, chef track. His food is all good. Chef track, chef track.